Hi, welcome. Guess who was calling rice sort of overrated in a very recent video and is now making an entire video dedicated to it? Aha, uh-huh, not me. But I mean, it's me. Me. I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> now, I am someone who likes to eat rice only when someone else makes it for me. I just get so impatient when it comes to boiling anything except for pasta or noodles that my consumption of rice on a daily basis is like really low. So, being the extreme person that I am, I decided to go from eating rice like twice a month to eating only rice for 24 hours. Yeah. For breakfast, I made a buta bowl. It's just a very nutrient packed bowl in simple words. It combines something from each food group and is super balanced. For my rice bowl, I first chopped some raw vegetables and a fruit. Yes, tomato is a fruit. Then I made a dressing out of tahini, some leftover laughing sauce from Nepal, a little bit of honey, salt and hot water. I like my dressing to be thick but not too thick to the point it's not pourable and when the dressing was done, I assembled everything. Rice, boiled chickpeas, peeled carrot, chopped tomato, cucumber, kimchi, a few black olives and finally the chili tahini dressing and sesame seeds. Not gonna lie, this really did hit the spot. It was fresh but really really filling and like comfortable. You know like when you have something and it's like it makes you feel calm. Yeah, this was that. For lunch, I made an almost Mexican inspired tomato rice. I sauteed some chopped garlic in olive oil and garlic butter. Then I added my veggies. Here I used carrot, green beans, frozen red and yellow bell peppers, frozen corn and green peas. When it cooked down a little bit and the colors were really popping, I added tomato puree and covered, let it simmer and get incorporated with the veggies and finally tossed in the star of the show, white rice and kidney beans. I combined well and added quite a bit of coriander cuz I love my herbs. I plated it on a plate. grated some cheese on top and drizzled thick yogurt so if you've noticed i rarely ever use tomato puree but i think i'm going to start using it a lot more from now on because even though this mexican rice was super simple it did have a lot of flavor it was slightly sweet and sour the cheese added this creaminess and almost a sharpness to this and overall really good to be completely honest i didn't nearly think i'd enjoy it as much as i did it was it was actually pretty good then i started to make kheer kheer is actually one of my favorite in in desserts i just love it but this kheer i made even though is made from all the ingredients that are used traditionally will not have the same texture as it because ideally kheer is runny and i literally used double the amount of rice my mom told me to use cuz i wanted it to be thick and almost make it into a kheer jelly you'll see what i mean one important thing to note is that you have to keep stirring the rice and milk mixture continuously because my mom said that if the milk sticks to the bottom of the pan then the entire thing will have like a smell which is not ideal and the texture will also not be the best so just keep that in mind i sweetened with white sugar added dry fruits kesar i transferred to a bowl sprinkled with crushed pistachios let it cool to room temperature and then it goes in the fridge for at least 2 hours Meanwhile, I tried to make yaki onigiri which are Japanese grilled rice balls, optionally filled with something and even have a savory coating. For the rice, I used sushi rice which I refrigerated for quite some time. I mixed in some white vinegar and salt. Then I made the filling which was meant to replicate the tuna filling. I smashed chickpeas with a fork and added chili mayonnaise and that's it. In hindsight though, I probably should have seasoned with salt and pepper and more spices. I wet my hands, flattened the rice on it, filled the first one with chickpea filling seaweed and sesame seeds and wrapped and shaped her into a triangle I heated garlic butter and pan fried the little onigiris on it and coated with some soy sauce for that additional savoriness. The nori was literally not sticking to these rice balls and I also could have presented them a lot better but it's fine we're all learning. Now coming to the taste, I like the kimchi one a lot better than the chickpea one. I do need to try to make these like a couple of times more to get them right, but for the first try, not bad I would say. 
lastly my thick khir and this is just what i wanted and needed and that was enough rice for me for a day but it was a very pleasant day and i'll see you again soon bye <laughs> Thank you.